Welcome to another episode of What I Eat in a Week as a Vegan. I am hungover. I don't have bread, so I'm just gonna pop to news agents and hopefully they'll have some. Fabulous. I need this. I need my fuel. <laughs> mm. Taylor Swift tickets go on sale today. I do not know how this is gonna go. Cross your fingers for me, I'd really appreciate that. Getting tickets for this tour is basically like having a part-time job. There are about two sessions, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that you've got to try and get tickets. So if I don't get any today, I'm trying again tomorrow. And then if I don't get any on Tuesday, I try again on Wednesday. 11 a.m., 1 p.m. every day. It's it's a big commitment. God knows how I'll get any work done. <laughs> but besides sales with I do actually have a lot going on this week. Tonight I'm off to a vegan pub, so I'll bring you along for that. And then tomorrow a sex themed restaurant. And then Thursday we've got vegan nights. 22. Bit of extra toast. Mm. I don't know if this is calm the nerves or <laughs> subdue the hangover. God, that's, that needs to clean, doesn't it? Okay, so there's one ticket sale done and I did not get tickets. Got, we've got another one today. I literally have like half hour until the next sale goes on. So I'm just gonna have some leftover pasta from the other day. We've got tuna, sun-dried, tom well, vegan tuna, um, sun-dried tomatoes, red onion, pasta. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and red pepper. Mm. Okay, so this time around, we are a lot closer. We're like in the 30,000s last time, and this time I'm in the 20,000s on the wait list. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Day one has been very unsuccessful, but don't worry guys, we've got we've got two more days of pre-sale. We'll see, something might happen. That um, leftovers earlier was tiny, but I'm out for dinner later, and it's gonna be a big one, but I think I'm gonna just have like half a tomato sandwich. I feel like this is one of those meals which is just very odd. I say don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> For dinner, I headed to the Spread Eagle. It is a 100% vegan pub in Homerton. Everything is vegan here, very sustainably focused too. So I love that about this place. They run a seasonal menu as well. And I was here to try out the new summer menu. That masaka in particular was absolutely incredible. Really warm, hearty, but still summery. And the vegan feta was some of the best I've ever tried. They also had these mac and cheese bites, which were so tasty. We both went crazy for them. And also these potato skins with dips. Everything was just so good. I really recommend this place. It's family friendly, it's cute, and I went home with quite a few leftovers, which I loved. Absolutely love that pub. It is a vegan pub. I've been there a few times, got tons of leftovers, and it was really nice seeing Christina again. So, really lovely evening. Not much more to report, really. I'm just gonna go home. I started watching Desperate Housewives, so I'll probably watch a bit of that. I still need to edit the last video. I'm so sorry, I've been slow on YouTube lately. I don't have very many excuses. I just, um, yeah. So I should do that before I watch Desperate Housewives, at least get a couple, like half hours worth work done. I'll do that for you guys. All right, back to the food. It was really, really good. Such a nice summer menu. They also do this pie mash and ale. That's amazing. They do Sunday roast of vegan Yorkshire puddings. That's amazing. So that's all the way in Homerton. It's about an hour walk for me, uh, but me and Christina kind of like met. We're, we're like 15 minutes apart. So we met up and then walked together and it's just so nice to do that. Like we were so full and I'm feeling a bit better now after walking for so long. But yeah, honestly, such good food. Really sad I didn't have room for dessert, but I've got leftovers. Okay, today I'm trying to get tickets to Paris and I feel like I've got some good chance. Basically, today should be the day I'm trying to get tickets at 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. both for Paris and then 11 a.m. for London, 1 p.m. for London. So, come on. Yeah, so I am 300,000th 
class in the queue. So definitely got time to make some breakfast before I find out I don't have tickets in this one either. Um, tons of people got them yesterday. So I feel quite encouraged by that. Like I've just been unlucky so far, but there seemed to be quite a lot to go around. So I'd be really, really unlucky to not get any this week. I just got through a really cool parcel. Vegan Yorkshire puddings. They're from a brand called Cherub. These were sent to me, these are gifted and I can't wait to try them. I'm gonna send my sister a text and be like, Sunday post. And also, I turn the whole. I love, I love Yorkshire puddings. They're really hard to find as a vegan, so I can't wait. <laughs> this is, this is pretty cool. Paris is still ongoing, but I don't stand good odds. The 11 a.m. pre-sale has not worked for me. Oh my God, this is so important to me. It's 1 p.m. We'll see what happens. There was like one set of VIP tickets left. It was like the second most expensive VIP ticket, like 300 pounds each, like 300 pound per ticket. But it was still in nosebleed seats. So maybe tomorrow if I get really desperate, but oh, fuck me. Okay, lunchtime. I'm literally just gonna make leftovers what I had yesterday. I've got a vintage delivery. Let's take a look at what I got through. Oh, cute. I forgot what I ordered. It's like a nice little, hopefully it fits. I think so. A bit stretchy at the back. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure how filling it'll be. So I've just got a little bit of bread. I'll make a little bit of a sandwich. Very pleased to announce I have managed to secure tickets. I'm so happy. I'm seeing Taylor Swift next August and I'm so... I'm actually feeling a bit emotional. <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. Yeah, I am getting ready to go on a run. This has been way too <laughs> much adrenaline and I need to get on work. I've like literally haven't been replying to emails all morning because it's been too stressful and I've been doing some edits as well. I was like, I don't, I don't need to talk to people. Just let me get in the zone and distract myself. But yeah, and now I need to do that, but I'm just, I'm too buzzing. I need to just let off some steam, so I'm gonna go on a run. <laughs> I got them. God, I didn't cry, I just nearly did earlier. Just to clarify. Huh, I wonder what I'll listen to on my run. <laughs> Heading off to Soho now for the sex theme restaurant it's basically like a hindu location i'm there one to check out like the vegan options too it's like just fun um, i'm there for like work so gifted meal and i'm taking my friend ellie who is pregnant very interested to see what they do with her i have been before it was a lot of fun so i can't wait to get back so this is naked soho the decor and the service the staff is exactly what you'd expect probably even better and more and the food i i wouldn't say is incredible i'm really grateful they not only have one vegan option but two they also have vegan whipped cream in store which i really appreciate particularly at this place but yeah i don't think the food's incredible for anyone so you come here for the experience you come here for a giggle and i just i do recommend it for a good time sorry next morning finally trying this on and it is so cute i love the back Oh. Something about the sandwich just feels very, very flat. I just got another set of Taylor Swift tickets, which is... <laughs> I'm seeing her once in June with Shada, my best friend that I used to live with. And then, <laughs> and then in August, I should be seeing her with Helena. I need to just double check she's still down for it, but... <laughs> okay, so for lunch, we've got 
whatever's left of the pasta and I'm gonna mix it with whatever's left of the leftovers. great. I'm really happy about this. To add a tiny little bit of sweetness, we're going to add this to it. I feel like I'm starting to realise just how stressful the last couple of days were with all this Taylor Swift malarkey going on. I have just had such a nice day today. <laughs> Not stressing. I know I even got tickets earlier, but yeah, I've managed to do my laundry. <laughs> Managed to boil pasta. I'm now heading out, looking cute. Off to a comedy show. My friends doing like a little Edinburgh practice show before they go off, before he goes off. So off to support. I'm like I've been friends with this person for a while and I've never seen them perform. So it's about time. <laughs> My real deal. I do just buy a sandwich. Yeah, I ended up going to see a couple of shows and I just really want to recommend Comedy in London. It's one of the best budget friendly ways of spending an evening and just having a really great funny time. Go with friends, go solo. It's just a lot of fun. Uh, but when I got home, I was a bit tired and a bit hungry. So I just made myself a bit of toast. So we're gonna make porridge for breakfast, except I don't have any milk. So we're gonna like blend up bananas to make milk. morning um off for a smear test <laughs> i think this one's a little bit overdue so um yeah <laughs> gonna go and part of life gotta get it done so now i'm off to get my eyelashes done which is a much nicer experience than a smear test but yeah very excited to <laughs> get my my lashes back on and i'm also getting my brows laminated I was meant to get this done yesterday and I had to move my appointment because of Taylor Swift. I was like, oh my god, if I don't have those tickets. And it turns out I had all my tickets by that final slot, but is that food or a spot? I think it's a spot. I haven't got any makeup on today. <laughs> You're not really meant to wear it for the last trips. Oh my god. I know they look wild. <laughs> it is quite a different look. Oh, and the good thing is by the time my lashes are on, the redness should calm down. Yes. Oh, what a nap. Yeah, gonna do a little bit of work and then I'm off to vegan nights tonight. It's been over like 15 years since I last had chicken, but these chicken slices really taste chickeny to me, but you know, pinch of salt, what do I know? Yeah, so tonight is vegan nights. It is this like night market full of vegan food, exactly what you'd expect. There's like a DJ, drinks. It should be good fun. So I'm meeting up my friend Lissa. We're gonna drink in a field is the plan. Uh, before we go just to save our money <laughs> i thought we'd be over this by the time we're like near 30 but no uh, <laughs> but how good are these looking i'm just worried it's gonna rain yeah my problem is that i can't get my brows and lashes wet for kind of like up to 48 hours <laughs> so i'm just like walking around like this when it starts drizzling i should have worn a cap i feel like an idiot i even said it to myself earlier wear a cap just in case it starts raining later but I was just thinking, oh, I straighten my hair. Hope it doesn't rain. No, okay, just a little video. Cheers. <laughs> One of the big problems about being vegan is that we really struggle whenever we suddenly have a lot of choice. And that is what my problem with vegan nights is. It probably takes me like two laps round evaluating all the options before I decide on something. 
and I ended up getting these like vegan ribs and it came with like mac and cheese really good really enjoyed it and I didn't keep filming all night I was having too much fun I forgot but there's like a little dance part as well and I just boogied away with some friends it's a really good time I bought tofu yesterday so we can finally have some tofu scrambled this week oh my god this is so fun not my usual tofu Yeah, vegan nights last night just was a bit quieter than usual. There weren't tons and tons of people there, but I think a lot of people are away on holiday at the moment. But yeah, still nice. Still got to meet so many people and have a good time. Definitely think they could do a new DJ though. It was just like the vibe wasn't hitting. Everyone seemed to want a different energy to what was being delivered. Always prefer buying in person when you can swatch. I just feel like you're more likely gonna love what you buy. Okay, I went to cash the check and we ended up doing a bit of a haul. So let me just show you the few things I got. It's like wet, but still warm out. That was to protect my lashes. First up, I popped it into a charity shop and I got this for seven pounds. It's just a little shirt. I feel like this would be cute when it's like a little bit cooler in the evenings and you just need to throw on a layer. It could be a little black skirt and then you just button it up. The print is really fun, I really like the print. And yeah, I'd probably wear it with just like one or two buttons done up and and then where I've come back from holiday, I don't feel like my makeup quite suits me. So like right here, I've got redness, but generally my skin's pretty good in the summer. I just always have my best skin in the summer. So I don't need to wear a real like full coverage foundation, but it does help to have a bit of concealer when I get something like this going on. I went for MUA, they are really budget friendly, 100% vegan, they're cruelty free as well. Um, Peter certified. I do prefer a Leaping Bunny certified, but, and I just love that I was able to swatch it as well. I try not to buy makeup on mine. Yeah, and this formula is really creamy. I've definitely used these before. Like, I don't like it to have really, really thick coverage. And there, like, it looks better. It's not completely disappeared. I could probably layer it, but anyway. Such a sore little spot. And then Superdrug, when they launched this range, they did gift me a couple of lip glosses and I really like the lip gloss texture and feel and all that, but I did not like the colors I had, especially now that I have a tan, it just is way too light for me. I like my lips to have a bit of color to them. So I got this one in shade 150, color gloss add impact. Hmm. And here we go. Simple, simple little makeup look. Honestly, this smells and looks so good. It's one of the all plant smells that is made for two people. So I'm obviously just one, but I think this is gonna be my lunch and dinner. I've not really got much planned today. This is my last all plant smell, which I'm really sad about. All plants really are just the perfect frozen meal. I love, I love them on days like this and they're just so tasty. I really can't recommend them high enough. Mm. I'm gonna sign off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Yeah, see you next week. Bye.